Hello and welcome. In the last video, we had a discussion about the coverage model for the full adder using linear test range. Now in this video, I will explain you how you can write the coverage model for the combinational adder using system Verilog version of UV. Already I have uh, uploaded a video for the verification of this combinational adder with the complete test bench architecture. So I request you to first go through that video. Then only it is possible for you to understand this concept. Because we are going to understand the subscriber class here. We are not going to discuss the entire test bench architecture. Okay, so I will put the link of that video in the description. And I request you to go through that video first. Now let me explain you the test bench architecture, what the modification we are doing for that combinational adder verification. Now as you can see, in the environment class, we are defining one subscriber class. And this subscriber class is a component class in the UVM based class hierarchy. And it has this inbuilt analysis expo. So if we are extending a class, our own subscriber from UVM subscriber, then it will have this inbuilt analysis export and one virtual write method. Okay, I will show you with the help of code. Now, as you know, the monitor class, the responsibility of the monitor is to capture the information from this DUT through this interface and it has this analysis port, right? So this analysis port, you can consider it as a analysis, you know, broadcast port also. So responsibility of this monitor is to broadcast this data to multiple component. So as you can see, uh, we have two components in the environment. One is a subscriber and another one is this scoreboard. And this in scoreboard has this analysis implementation. Okay. Now let me directly jump to the code and explain you the concept of this UVM subscribe. So if you just see the test bench architecture here, all the things are same. Those things, you know, already I have explained in that combinational adder verification video. Now here I'm just going to explain you the concept of subscriber class. Okay. So if you see this subscriber class, let me first show you the monitor class so that you will have the clear picture. So this monitor class, which is extending from UVM monitor, it has this analysis port, okay, UVM analysis port, and which is a parameterized one. So we are parameterized with the type of transaction and giving an instance as AP analysis port. And it is a component class. We have to register with the component details factory station. Now here we are capturing the information through this virtual interface on this transaction object right and we are putting that captured information into this analysis port okay we are collecting that in this transaction object and we are putting that into this analysis port use and the analysis port dot write in the, in the parenthesis we have to give this transaction object so this analysis port has this inbuilt write method which is a non blocking in nature okay. inside this uh, a scoreboard as you can see it has this analysis implementation for and we have to define this UVM analysis IMP hash parameterized with type of a transaction and then the second one is a scoreboard where we are defining the implementation detail so here in this case we are defining that implementation detail inside this scoreboard class itself so second argument will be scoreboard this class itself now let me just uh, walk you through the subscriber class. So if you see the literature, you will find many definition for this subscriber class. Okay. So this subscriber class is a component class in the UVM based class hierarchy. Hence we have to register with the tick UVM component details, factory registration macro, and it's default constructor expecting two arguments. And this subscriber class encapsulates a UVM analysis export and when an and one uh, virtual write method. So this analysis export is uh, 
for receiving the transaction from the connected analysis uh, port okay so in, uh, in 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 our test bench architecture we have analysis port that monitor has okay so it is broadcasting this data to multiple components like a scoreboard and subscriber in our case and it is not mandatory that we should uh, you know register uh, we, we should extend the class from uvm subscriber you can uh, you know extend it from uvm component also but it is uh, you know recommended for good programming practice to extend it from uvm subscriber our own subscriber from uvm subscriber class okay so it will have this if you are extending from uvm subscriber it encapsulates uvm analysis export and uh, one inbuilt write uh, method in it. now let me show you the code for this uh, you know subscriber so how we are defining class adder subscriber which is extending from uvm subscriber and it is a parameterized class so we are parameterizing with the type of a transaction so as you can see <coughs> so we are parameterizing this with the sequence item the uh, you know transaction class for us hash within parenthesis sequence item now here we are just declaring the you know object for this sequence item req and as it is a component class in the uvm based class hierarchy we have to register with a tick uvm component it is fact registration method. and its default constructor expecting two arguments now here we are creating the object for this req using factory create method or you can say they are locating a memory using factory create method now here itself we are doing uh, the allocating a memory for this cover group cg C is equal, is equal to new in this default constructor itself. Now the cover group we are defining in this subscriber class, cover group CG, end group CG, and here we are defining option dot per instance is equal to one in order to get the detailed analysis of our bins and coverage. Now we are defining the cover points for all the variables A, B, and Y, and we are getting the access of that A, B, and Y using REQ. Because this REQ is the object of this sequence item class, and in this sequence item class, we have already defined all the you know variables, inputs and outputs right, for that uh, of this RTL. So we are defining the cover point for them, and here we are depending upon the implicit or auto bins. Okay. Now, as I told you, that it has associated virtual write method. So inside this write method. We are defining the input argument as T, which is of a uh, transaction class type. And just we are printing a message uh, like uh, data received from a monitor analysis code. If you want, you can print using print method. Okay. Now here, uh, what we are doing, we are collecting the information in this data container REQ. We, you know, this transaction object T inside this REQ data container. And we are calling the inbuilt sample method over here. So what this sample method do? Or what will, what this sample method will do? It will sample the coverage whenever the it received an object from the analysis port of the monitor. And just we are printing a message using tick uvm info and using dollar s format in that that coverage is uh, you know percentage f. So it will show the coverage for us and we are giving a cg dot get coverage. So it will give the current coverage of our report and just we are ending the function right and just end class address subscribe okay so this is what a simple you know uh, example for uvm subscribe let me run this code before running this code let me explain you the environment so how we are connecting that as i told you that this uh, uvm subscriber has this inbuilt analysis export right so how we are connecting that inside the uh, you know environment class let me show you that also so inside the build phase of the environment we have to create the uh, scoreboard class as well as this subscriber class right so if you see the score an uh, environment class here we are defining this scoreboard class object agent class object and the subscriber class object as it is a component class we have to register with component details factorization method and its default constructor expecting two arguments in the build phase we are creating the objects 
uh, for this scoreboard agent and uh, you know subscriber class using factory create method now inside the connect phase what we are doing we are first connecting the monitor analysis port monitor analysis port which is there in the agent right so agent has this monitor which has analysis port dot connect so the scoreboard analysis implementation right so scoreboard has this analysis port we are connecting that with manage monitor analysis port with this analysis implementation port of scoreboard and the monitor analysis port we are connecting this with subscriber analysis export okay very simple so in the connect phase we have to make this connection and in the build phase we have to create them using factory scheduler okay very simple now let me just run this code and we'll analyze the report okay. so what we are expecting here uh, we are expecting that uh, it will create the auto bins for us uh, for all the variables a b and y and those will be uh, auto bin right we are not explicitly defining them hence it will create the auto bins for us and the a and b uh, variables are of four bit in nature so for them it will create 16 auto bins for a and b variable and the output is of five bit for us here so it will create a 32 bit auto bins for them 0 to 31 so after running this code we'll able to analyze that okay so as you can see we are getting the report for that for a it is creating 0 to 15 right auto bins for b also and for y which is of 5 bit hence it is creating auto bin 0 to 31 okay. now let analyze let's analyze the report for a it is giving 62.5 or double zero coverage because some bits are you know some bins are hitting and some are not similarly for b it is 62 0.500 and for output it is giving 31.250 remember in case of uh, that subscriber class we gave that dollar uh, we gave that info right in order to print the current coverage so if you analyze the report just scroll up you will find it will show us this added subscriber and the coverage is 52.08333 percent okay so this is what the concept of UVM subscriber, how you can define that uh, the coverage model in case of UVM using UVM subscriber or you can extend it from UVM component also. So the assignment for you here for this particular example is to write the explicit bins, try to write the explicit bins for this above example as we are depending here in uh, you know, on, on auto bins right so try to define the explicit bins and uh, try to get the 100 percent coverage as we are getting here some uh, you know 52 point right 52 point something so try to get the 100 percent coverage how to get the 100 percent coverage whether we need to increase the randomization as we are randomizing in in the uh, sequence class right if you remember in the sequence class we are randomizing it uh, for you know 10 times so do we need to increase the repeat for this randomization or do we need to write multiple sequences or do we need to you know if you are writing multiple sequences we need to write multiple tests also so we can start those sequences in those tests so think on it and try to play around with this code Try to get the 100% coverage and try to create the explicit bits. These two assignments you can take and you can work upon them. I'll put the link of this code in the description. Try these two assignments and try to get the 100% coverage. And if you are finding any difficulty, we will discuss uh, in the comment section. You can put the comments in the comment section. We'll discuss more. Okay. So with this, I hope you have understood the concept of UVM subscriber how we are defining the coverage model in case of system verilog version of UV. Okay. And also I hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching. Thank you.